Hi guys, it's a new bright morning in Cyprus. Best regards to you from United World Capital. In the market last uh, yesterday and this morning, the euro is stronger against the US dollar, trading around 123.50 or above, uh, up about 50 points from yesterday. There is no special good uh, explanation why the euro is stronger, but uh, it seems that uh, some traders are now uh, getting out of positions where they have been gambling against uh, or gambling in favor of uh, a weaker uh, euro and uh, a stronger US dollar. Uh, the euro is still under a lot of pressure due to uh, the situation inside the European area. Greece uh, came in with the GDP number, uh, numbers last night saying that uh, the gross domestic product is down 6.2% for the last quarter. Uh, not very exciting numbers, but nevertheless the market thought that this was a little bit better than expected and hailed the figures. Also Germany came in this morning with uh, very low uh, growth, 0.1, 0.3%. That means that also the uh, locomotive of then uh, growth in Europe, Germany, uh, is starting to feel the uh, burden of the European banking and sovereign crisis. Uh, the oil prices are still strong, uh, but falling a little bit from yesterday, uh, around then 16.13 for the time being. Gold prices are also falling a little bit. Uh, most currencies are stable against the dollar. Uh, regarding then bets for the future, it seems that uh, a lot of uh, analysts are now putting emphasis on uh, the uh, commodity-driven currencies as the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, and also there are hotbeds on Norwegian and Swedish crowns. Otherwise in the market, uh, we are very much occupied for the time being with then a new food crisis which is coming up due to the uh, very bad uh, uh, drought that has hit the United States and also hit then uh, the Baltic Sea area which is very often characterized as one of the important corn baskets of the world. Uh, there has been initiatives inside the group of 20 for then emergency meeting to avoid, let's say, then uh, a similar crisis that we had five years ago, where the food prices were exploding and uh, it created a very dramatic situation with starvation in many poor countries. I expect uh, today a rather quiet day in the market with then the reservation of uh, no big news. I wish traders a very good trading day.